guys, it's me, Ro Wen Huang. <laughs> I make a New Year resolution. That is, by the end of this year, I hopefully reach 300 episodes. That means I still have 124 more to go. So, called episode is not like I'm just chatting with you guys, which I chat a lot. Many of you would know. Uh, so, called episode is as this. You know, I would do the English broadcast and would do the Chinese broadcast later. So. Hopefully, <laughs> that means the next year or so, you guys might see me more often, or I might, you know, just explode your Facebook. Bear with me because I have a goal to reach. If I achieve it early, I can have a break early. So anyway, before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Ron Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, I want to talk about finding your passion. Finding your passion. Have you ever? Heard people say, "Do something you love. Find your passion." You know, you know what I mean. Like they would tell you,、mm, just go search what you really like to do in life. If you do something you're passionate about, then you will be successful. You know, honestly, I'm I'm just gonna bring myself back when I was 20 years old. You know, <laughs> it's a great idea, isn't it? If you can wake up every morning, just do something that you love, and then you just cannot wait to wake up and do it. And then even you can stay up late, and then you know still doing something you love. You know, it's not a wonderful life. It, it, wouldn't it be great that we all do that? Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> But reality is, as much as we want to do something we love, we are always very stuck by reality problem. Reality problem that is.、Um, You know, we might have the mortgage to pay. We might have the rent to pay. We might have the car mortgage to pay. We might have kids to raise. So we cannot go out and do something we love, isn't it? So very often we feel helpless. We don't know what to do. You know, we feel we're doing this day in day out. We go to a work that we hate it so much just because it pays so well and it. You know, it got all the job done. Therefore, we compromise ourselves with continue doing this through a consultation、uh, through this whole. Long period of a consultation. A lot of people come and ask me. I don't know what I love. I don't know what I love. I love. I don't know what I'm passionate about. You know, it would be great idea. But I know one thing. I don't like this job. That feeling. I believe not just those clients. Many of you have. I don't like it. We always very clear to know what we don't like, don't we? Why? Because、uh, criticize racist. So criticize. You know. Bring us up to always judge, criticize things. Therefore, we are always very good at pointing out what we don't love, what we don't like. But when it comes to the aspect what we love, what we like, we always very puzzled. You know what I mean? We're very puzzled. We don't really know, even though if we like that thing, we don't even know why we like that thing. You know what I mean? I'm, bear with me. <laughs> Long time ago, I started seeing,、uh, reading some book here and there. Right? There's always a lot of great saying. You know, wake up doing something you love. You know, that that would be great. But what? How do we do it? Can we quit the job? Can we? Can we sacrifice ourselves to, you know, just let it go? Can we just let it go and then just go pursue our dream? But the the problem is we don't even know what's our dream. We don't even know what it is that we're looking, chasing after. What if we fail? What if, you know, I spend another five years and find out. That is not what I love. What should I do? You know what I mean? I believe. Why do I know this question? Because I was in the same place before. <laughs> That's why I got to share with you guys. <laughs> I had that question in my head all the time too. When I was、um, younger stage, I noticed myself something. I'm very quick to know what I don't like. If I don't like something, I don't like something. Like I don't like to be a psychic. Honest with you, I don't like to be a psychic. Why? Because I growing my growing up hating this. I identity. I hating this this ability I have. I had hard time accepting this. That's why I hate being one, right? So the first five years of consultation, I have very strong energy showing you I really don't like to be where I am. The reason I'm sharing you this is, <clears throat> I spent five years <clears throat> hating being me, hating this. Don't like this job I do. Not only I'm very aware of it. My client can tell you the early stage of my client. They will tell you too. They can tell it. <laughs> they can tell. They are not welcome on my chair, right? So what I'm saying is, <clears throat> when I spend five years focusing on, I don't like it. Guess what? It take me. It take me nowhere because every day 
I all I know is I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Other than complain, I do nothing about it. You know what I mean? I will still take the client, and I still don't like the job. Every time I do it, I don't like the job, right? Five years later, I'm still the same position I was. The only time you start to make a change, make a change is when we when I start asking different question, different question not like. I don't like it. Come on, we all very good at this. You know, giving you reason, idea why I don't like it. I can never shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But to give you a reason why am I still doing this? What is it within that that I still like? That is the I would say breaking moment for me. When I saying there must be something I like. There must be something I like that I'm still doing this, right? When I start to question that, why am I doing this? What is it that I like, right? Then I start to realize things start changing a little bit. I'm still doing the same thing, honest with you, but there's some element in there, either to help out people or either to have, you know, hear other people sharing, or either to accept who I am or things like that. There's certain element to it that I start to appreciate myself, right? Then that's the time I start to see. Things start changing. Maybe I don't have to be like that. Maybe I have a different way that can go more toward what I like. To eventually where I am right now, sit here sharing with you all, still being who I am. You know what I mean? So it take a while, but it take you to start asking yourself what it is like you like, what it is that you like, and then really. Down to it. What I'm calling dig down to it is not like, hey, I like this. Now you have to ask it. Why do you like it? How do you like it? You know, other than what? Now you have to dig deeper to understand. Having a conversation with yourself all the time and figure out why do you like it inside. Because you really have to know why. Then that will help you to set the platform for the next job or the next stage. Like you can really appreciate because you can customize yourself and then go to that that stage or you know that time that you will really enjoy what you do. So what I'm saying is, as my personal opinion or through trying out various things, I don't usually recommend people to just quit everything and go unless whatever you're passionate about, you have very strong idea of it. Then I would say. You know, don't waste your time. If you already know what you're passionate about, just give it a try, right? But for many of us, <laughs> the passion don't come easy. For many of us, passion require digging, digging. You know, like peeling onion, digging. <laughs> Because it requires digging, I will usually recommend you to put it、um, aside. <laughs> Do what you're passionate. On the side, that is whatever you're doing right now. Which I get it. Your life might have mortgage to pay, kids to raise, or house, car, whatever. Another parent that you have to look after. I get it. But why you are doing all that and coming back home and just totally exhausted and soak yourself in this whole negative feeling and then drain your energy out? How about invest? Invest an hour a day or two hours a day. Try to figure out what make you excited. You know, what I mean, it can be a walk, it can be some hike, it can be some gym time, it can be, you know, some idea, some business idea you wanna try out on the side. So what I will usually give recommend to you, things passion require digging, <laughs> require digging. Let's just invest. One or two hours a day, start digging <laughs> and figure out. Yeah, no, yeah, no. This way, it can require failure, right? Make mistake. It's okay because mistake make us grow. And then eventually, when we really find this is it, I think I get it, right? We start doing it on the side. Since I'm so used training myself to do one or two hours a day investment, and then I. Gonna use that one and two hours in self digging. Now I'm gonna investing, developing this business. When can you quit? You can quit whenever your passion start to take off. You know what I mean? In that way, I'm just.
giving you an idea, it will reduce you a lot of stress, really a lot of stress. I don't want to give you unrealistic suggestion saying just let it go. Again, as I say, if you're very clear what your passion is, go ahead, go crazy, you know. <laughs> Universe will take you wherever you have to go. But if you are just like me, you and just like me, ordinary people <laughs> who kind of try to figure it out, try to figure it out, spend so many years complaining, I don't like something, and then realize life is not going anywhere by complaining. I'm just here proposing a different way of looking at things. Instead of telling yourself, I don't like it, try to ask a different question. What is it that I like? What is it that I like? And why I like it? How I like it? You know what I mean? Mark it down. In case you worry you might forget, write it down. Because whatever you do is you are forming what your future is going to look like. You are going to be a being that is going to do something that you're passionate about, something you love. You're going to wake up like all those entrepreneurs saying, just do something you love, you will be successful. Trust me. It is true, but it requires some work. It doesn't just hit you. Hey, yeah, I wake up in the morning, I'm going to become a total entrepreneur. It doesn't quite work that way, right? So slowly grow that muscle. Slowly grow our entrepreneurial muscle. <laughs> and then slowly doing a, a little bit investment on the side. That way we know, hey, we can make mistakes, we can fail sometimes, but that's okay. I will slowly gain my muscle to continue to go forward. And one day, when one day that will hit you, I think it's about time. I think this is the time, right? Then you can let it go. You can let go of the thing that you hated so much. You spend so much time complaining, draining all your energy. Guys, save your energy. Why? Because you know in the future you're going to do something you love. Because from this moment uh, on, you're going to start investing your time to make that happen. Whatever that is, you are going to make that happen. So anyway, just a little suggestion to you all. Many of you who is excited or interesting to become someone you always want to be, or do, the, some, do some job that you cannot you cannot wait to wake up in the morning so you can just go for it. Start training your muscle. <laughs> it's not just you, it's me too. <laughs> so what I'm saying is start training that muscle, right? Instead of me spending, seriously, not kidding, five years complaining, I don't like to be a psychic. Where you take me, it take me nowhere. Five years later, I look back, I was still where I was five years ago. Change your minds a little bit. What it is that you love, what it is that you want to be, what it is that you foresee yourself to be in five years. It's about time for you to start thinking. So anyway, just a little sharing. As I say, try to meet 300 ben benchmark. I better work hard. So again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website, ruown.com. Till then, I see you guys next time. Bye.